Uh, Lakers and Milwaukee have already clinched up the top seed on both sides. Um, but both teams have, have been a little shaky lately. Milwaukee lost last night. Um, they were almost blown out by Miami a couple days ago before a big comeback. And with the Lakers, we know they've been resting guys. But Anthony Davis has been a little shaky. Are you concerned in any way, shape, or form as you start to gear up for the playoffs? Um, I'm not. But it's more so because of the LeBron factor. It's not so much about Anthony Davis. Um, I think that LeBron is at the point in his career where – He'll have everybody ready to go. Um, I know he's definitely been talking to Anthony Davis. I think they're gearing up. I think, you know, they've been really on some once they re- once they clinch, I think it's more so been about, you know what? Let's let's get a little bit of rest. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not concerned about what these games look like. Let's get the other cats a little bit of playing time to get them, you know what I'm saying, just a better feel for things going into the playoffs. I think Anthony Davis will be fine. Um, but I do think that he still is going to have to show and prove. This is, you know, this is the year because yeah, I don't, you know, eventually at some point LeBron got to start, you know, going going backwards. You know what I'm saying? As far as being a top player in his league. Um, so I think that this is the as good as a chance they're going to get um, as far as with, with LeBron still being at this point in his career. Even though I think he still has another, another two years left at playing at this level. But there's guys that are also playing at this level that are coming for LeBron, and they're going to continue to get better. And they're a lot younger than LeBron, the Giannis's, Kawhi. You know, these guys are a lot younger. I mean, if you look at the way Dane's been playing as of late, these guys are a lot younger uh, than LeBron is. So, you know, he's definitely going to have to show and prove, and I think he will, because I just don't think there's too many teams that can match up with Anthony Davis. So I think he'll get into a, a, a level of comfort early. Uh, in, in the playoffs, and I think that's going to carry him through. And as they get into the later rounds, LeBron, LeBron is going to go back to being being video game James, and we're going to see, um, you know, why he's a three-time NBA champion, four-time MVP, future first ballot Hall of Famer. Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, I do agree with you that, if you know, once LeBron sw- flips that switch, um, it's, it's a whole different animal that you're dealing with at that point. And we've seen it so many times that it's almost – uh, it would be foolish to even doubt that he could flip the switch again. My only concern with the Lakers, and I've said it all year, is, is their guard play. And I think that's why they've been so um, willing to allow LeBron to get some rest. And they're trying to figure out some of these other lineups because they can't stop anybody on the perimeter. I think that's their biggest flaw. And so we know they're going to get theirs. We know LeBron is almost unstoppable. We know AD is damn near unstoppable. But who's going to be that third guy to step up for them? You know what I'm saying? Is it going to be Deion Waiters, a guy who they kind of signed off the street last minute? Um, can Danny Green start knocking down threes? I think he had gone three straight games in a bubble without hitting a three. So they need him to be a veteran presence as well there. Um, there are some chinks in the armor. But I do trust and believe in the Lakers way more than I believe in the Bucs. I think the Bucs are being exposed a little bit. And nobody really wants to talk about it. Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers. And you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk.